All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we want to start off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Hey, and double honors to the Boston elders of Great Millstone, who we learned this truth from, who teach and rule exceptionally well. Peace, love, blessings, citations to the sincere Akim and Akwa that are listening in on this truth, pushing in this truth, trying to make their call number less for sure. And Shalom to the brothers that's pushing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. May the call and election be upon our homes. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Hey, we the brothers from the GMS Columbus, Georgia camp. Coming back at you with another weekend of live street preaching. You know, and basically hey, to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great America, man. You know, how the Lord has his eyes set upon this place, man. You know, for destruction. You see? Um, if a brother ain't got nothing, Brother, get that. You got to put it. You got it. And um, my brother hold that, um, the second world pass to hold the third world pass. Mm -hmm. uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yes, Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. That's right. You can look it down. Right? That's right. That's what we out here to do. We out here to give warning to so-called black Latinos and Native Americans about the coming destruction that the Lord has prophesied in the scriptures to this place. And, and, and specifically Babylon, which is also known as America. That's um uh, well, well, whether it's hot, cold, raining. Hey, the, the true men of the Lord are gonna be out there. Man. They ain't gonna make no excuses. Man. You know, they gonna find a reason to be out here now. It ain't we ain't gonna come out here. If we know the temperature just hey, uh, over and overheated. You know, and the, the temperature negative three. But if it's bearable and we can come out, hey, the Lord say be out here, man. You know, hey, to reprove and to correct, and that's what we doing. We out here to correct you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Even you Israelite foreigners that may look like these other nations, man. You know. Because we know that um, Israel has been mixed and mingled and, and scattered throughout all nations. You see? But also to, a, to, um, to reprove and correct these nations also, man. You know? Because they also a, a, a got a judgment coming. You know? We don't, just, we don't just come out here when events are going on, uh, when it's just crowds of people, man. And we're commanded to come out here and preach in season, out of season, all the time, bro. To, 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 um, get the words of the Lord out, bro. To, to prophesy against this place, man. Not not when there's events going on to, to be seen of men. And the scripture says prophesy to the wind, if 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 it may be, man. You no, know, you got guys um talking shit. Oh yeah, y'all out there talking to the camera. <clears throat> and we doing what the scriptures say, man. We edifying. And the internet is the unicorn. It carry this word throughout the whole four corners of the earth. <clears throat> right. Um, verse 3, it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own um, lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So we seeing that right now, man. You know? Um, for for, for, for two-thirds, Jake, that's in the world. Even to, to, to men, you know, and women that claim to be Israelites that claim that they in the truth, man. You know? Turning their ears to sound doctrine, man. Turning their ears to reproof and to correction, man. You see? That is coming out from the men that the Lord set up, man. Our apostles, all the way down to younger brothers as ourselves, man. You got men bucking up against the true doctrine, man. You know? And your how about Shimia is about to start issuing our judgment, man. We in the mid we in, you got it up. Hey, if I can say Baba Bisha not to cut you off, you got men um rebelling against order, yep. doctrine. Hey, hey, um, um, order which can keep you safe, man. Mm -hmm. No, you ain't following order. That's a hey, from the men that the Lord set up. It say, like, um, by by that, um, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And it say, like, um, by that the elders have obtained a good report. That's right. 
because they they um you got men on the earth that have proven themselves um worthy to the lord bro hey and, 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 and you know which which they get they got a good report from the lord so they can tell us bro how to be in this thing man and, and, and we gotta humble ourselves. That's when the humbling process come down, man. We gotta humble ourselves down and, and be up under those men. Cause that's how the Lord got it set up, man. Not not getting mad trying to make up what we feel or what we think or going to our own emotions, man. You know, when you go to your own um, emotions, hey, the, the, the scriptures say, hey, that's death, man. There's a way with seeming right onto a man because you going to your own emotions. So you want to come against these men and you want to switch up the doctrine, but it says the end are of the ways of death, man. That's why it's hot time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to awake out of sleep and come back to the Lord, man, the 100% true doctrine before the destruction comes. We see what's going on in the world, man. A prophecy must and it will be fulfilled. Why? Because it's impossible for the God of the Bible to lie. Bring it up, bro. Ecclesiastes 3.24 For many are deceived by their own vain opinion yeah, and an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Hey, it says many are deceived by their own vain opinion because you got a lot of people that ain't that ain't resulting back to the basics of the scriptures, man. What the scriptures say, hey, lean not unto your own understanding, man. And you got a lot of dudes that's doing that, man. They in this truth. They ain't taking heed to um, wise counsel, you know. But they're leaning onto their own understanding and, 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 and making, um, as the scriptures say, making haste in the time of trouble, man. You know? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not going to be pleased with that, man. Because that ain't the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah told us to be in, man. You know? The scriptures tell us to be wise and serpents, farmers and doves. You know, to walk circumspectly, man. And a lot of dudes ain't following under that regimen, you know? Hold on, because what that last part said, read it, read that one more time. Uh, read the Atticus 3 and 24. And it reads, For well, many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. That's the part. It says an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. See, that's why these dudes can't take heed to this reproof that's going out, man. Why? Because they have evil intentions, man. You know, they have evil inside of them, man. The scriptures say that wisdom cannot dwell in a malicious soul, man. You see? And these dudes are showing forth to be evil and wicked men, man. That's why they, that's why um they're not taking heed, like I said, to the correction that's coming out, man. You know? Because it, it has overthrown their judgment, man. They can't see the um the the, the, the wise counsel that's being given. This first Peter's five and verse five it says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elders. Mm -hmm. Yet all of you be subject one to another. Hey, look up that word submit on Come on, brother. I'm reading again for the top while he gets it. Um, this first Peter five and five, it says, Likewise, ye younger, right? Younger men in the faith, submit yourself unto the elder. Yet yeah, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh resist of the proud and give of grace to the humble. Hum nah, I was going to ask you to speak on it real quick. Because it says, hey, you young man, submit yourself to the elder, man. And, and under our apostles and elders, man, we're all young men. You know, when it comes to the apostles, man. You see? Hey, none of us have no type of authority to feel like we can be over them in any type of sense, man. Because they've been in this thing laboring, man. And you got a lot, uh, like Brother just said, man, you got a lot of dudes out here that are novices, young in the faith, don't really got a lot of experience and understanding, you know, but thinking that they can come up against the apostles, man, thinking that they can buck against the orders. And, that, and that's hey, and that's against the scriptures, man, because Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is all about order, man. The Lord say that a, a, um, a false balance is an abomination under him, man. Let all things be done. Decently in their order. And, and, uh, heads in your camp, man. Right. Um, um, men um um higher men in the camp that's, that's right. been in this thing you know if you can't if you can't have order with inside your camp what makes you think you're gonna be able to, uh, to have order with, within the sight of the apostles man it starts within your camp man you can't be one way in your camp and then trying to be another way amongst <laughs> other brothers man that's phony huh this thing is all about order man 
The Lord got the order set up for a reason. It's a reason for everything, man. Right? It ain't for nothing. You got that definition, yes, sir, bro. This is the definition of the word submit. It reads, accept or yield to a superior force or to the authority or will of another person. Right. Mm. Hey, that's, hey, 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 that's, hey, that is the ice on the juice, bro. So really to give in. To yeah. humble yourself, yeah. bro. Humble yourself. Yeah. E even though it might be burning inside of you, just shut the hell up and, and humble yourself. <laughs> hey, what does what the uh, scripture say about a man that keep quiet? You know, hey. Even a fool, he keep quiet. He is be wise. Right. That is just wise to just keep quiet, bro. You know, because you might know a lot, bro. But it ain't about what you know. It's what you what you do with what you know, the wisdom. It's oh, saying with, with all that I ain't getting, get understanding. You know, you have this wisdom. You're supposed to know how to maneuver out here. Any, anybody can know everything, bro. But you see the example that the Lord put out to the guys that know, know it all. And where they end up at? Right. You know, that's an Ecclesiastes. Beautiful. When you're in the midst of great men, man, you, you're really supposed to keep silent, man. Right, right. You know, you ain't supposed to make yourself equal with them. Right. You see, so dudes, hey, hey, going over that, 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 that basic wisdom. Man. Right. You know, the guideline that how about she all shall lay out, man. When you get in the midst of great men, men that's over you, men that's been laboring this thing, especially if they, hey, pushing the 100% doctrine, and the spirit of y'all about y'all shall really dealing with them. Right. You know, hey, you're supposed to humble yourselves under them, man. You ain't supposed to be trying to make yourself equal and, and seem like, oh, we We got a um, precept that we were quoting on the comment board. Hey, Shalom, faithful one four four, hopeful late. Shalom. Hey, it's Proverbs seventeen and twenty eight. It said, "Even a fool, when he hold of his peace, is counted wise, and he that shut of his lips is is esteemed a man of understanding." Mm -hmm. right. A man that applied the scriptures. He may know a lot, but he 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 he, he applied scriptures just like when um um what was it um there was. It was it was Peter and um they was racing to Yahweh's Yahweh's grave. It, who was racing to the grave? Peter and John. And John got there first, but he waited for Peter to go in there first, bro. That was ordered. But if John would have got there and just went up in there first, you know what I'm saying? Right. Out of order. Hey, hey, I, I got here first. I'm, I'm I'm about to be the first to open up and see. Right. So that's bro. Right. He waited, man. That was humble, bro. Because he probably wanted to go in there bad. Yeah. But he waited on Peter. Yeah. And that's 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 what we gotta be in that order, man. Yeah. You know? That's why you can't be in the flesh, because really if he would have did that, that would have just been him being in the flesh. Right. You know, being for him, being because that's a nigga spirit, you know. That's why we can't be worn after the flesh, man. You gotta really be being spiritual. And we see it in the last days, how about Shion Shah's revealing that a lot of dudes really just ain't spiritual. Right. You gotta know what really, they really don't believe. Yeah. Right. Right. It's on First Peter five and six. This is the point. It say, "Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh." You say what? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh. Mm. Hey, the scriptures is always speaking about being humble. Hey, the perfect, the most perfect example, Yahweh shot. He was the ultimate um, humble, humbling um, human that walked the earth, man. The most humble. He had spiritual powers. And he's and he and he um humbled himself down and didn't even use that shit to, to um bring down Esau yeah. or bring down the uh, Roman Empire, none of that, bro. He could have. He could have, yeah. right. That was humble, man. That's the, the best example that we have, man. To be like. You got it, bro. It says that he may exalt you in due time. That's it. Right. And that's what we're looking to do, man. We looking to be exalted by your how about you shine in due time and the only way you're going to be exalted is if you count it blameless you know hey the lord said he's coming back to um um, um deliver those that are of a contrite spirit you know sincere you see that's how you're going to be exalted man so the so the um lessons in the in the, in the um wisdom that is coming out from from our apostles and elders on down is so that hey we can ultimately a hey, 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 go in the right direction to receive salvation man it's not like they leading you you know into a to a burning house you know? You got it. Um, I'm all right. I'm going to finish this off in there, brother. You got it. Um, this, this is the precept. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. 
and they shall turn away their ears from the truth mm. and it shall be turned and onto fables. Right, right. Yep. And uh, hey, and you see that, man. A lot of dudes out here believing in, 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 um, in, in, in lies, man. You know, things that ain't nothing true. Right. You see? Believing, hey, we going through all the time, believing that the, um, the MOTV is sin. You know, that, that you can have sex on the Sabbath. You know, that being in a warrior spirit, carnal like spirit, you know, is the right spirit to be in and being in the truth, man. Right. You know, they believing in a lie. Bullshit. But see, at the end of the day, we don't get so pissed off because we understand who, who got them in that mindset. Yahweh Shem Yahweh the Lord has given these, you know, these dudes that really ain't sincere over to a strong delusion, man, right. to believe them lies, man. You see? Because the Lord ultimately has his eyes set to destroy people like that, man. Because you got to have examples of, 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 of wicked men in this thing and, and those that are righteous, man. It just got to be that way. But the right. scripture says. And, and the Lord got to get two-thirds. Yep. Hey, two-thirds, they got to fulfill their life. Right? It's, it's, it's going to be two-thirds that know that they're the truth. Because the scriptures say that, man. It's going to be two-thirds that know that they're Israelites. You right. see? The scriptures say, hey, hey, Lord, Lord. Then they call on me and they say, Lord, Lord. So, right. you know, we understand that right. it's going to be dudes that are amongst the truth that ain't right. The scriptures speak about men crept in unawares. You see? So it's just, it's just all a part of this truth, man. Right. You know? We just praying and hoping that we fall on the right side of prophecy. And just to add real quick, if you remember in Matthew, it said the Lord said unto that uh, wicked servant. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be people that was actually once preaching or could be prophesying, like you said, Lord, Lord, that's going to be not right of the spirit. Two thirds mm -hmm. of our people. He said that wicked servant that said the Lord loves his coming, and he started to eat a, dr a drink with the drunkard. He said that servant shall, uh, the Lord shall come upon that servant that, that he look of not for. Mm -hmm. Right? Because he was distracted and he went back into the world. And he going to cut his portion with the hypocrites. Mm -hmm. you know? So just because you out here preaching, that's that don't mean you still going to make it. And I was just thinking about that. I was just about to say, that's the spirit you said. That I was thinking in my mind. Just because you, you know, you out here preaching the word and you teaching, man, don't make you a man of the Lord, man. Right. Because at the end of the day, the Lord coming back to see that what that inward man about. Because you can put broadcast and put off a show to men, you know. And, and, and show yourself as if you're a man of the Lord, but are you really a, 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 in the right spirit as an inward man? Because the Lord said he don't look at the outer appearance, but he judged the inner man, man. Right. You know? You got an outer. Right. This is verse 5. It says, But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. That's right. It says, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. That's, right. That's what we got to do, man. We got to fight, bro. We got to keep fighting no matter what we lose, no matter what we go through, no matter how many times we mess up. We fall down, but we get up. That's right. Gotta get back up, bro. <laughs> my brothers, excuse me, man. Hey, hey, hey the scripture said a wise man falls seven times and get back up, bro. We ain't just gonna stay down there on the ground, bro. Fight wallowing in your wallowing in your um your sorrow. Right. You know? that, ain't, that ain't the spirit that the Lord has given on to us. We understand that we was in the world born that we have been in it into the truth, man. We was born and wickedness so the lord ain't looking at you know if, if you mess up bro he's just looking at you're going to keep making the same mistakes you're going to repent which if you mess up you repent man we keep fighting we yeah. keep pushing this word and fighting and believing in your by Hashem our shot and lord willing we're going to be saved man just like the, the men of old that endure even though they messed up great men messed up man right. paul, hey, uh, paul said the things that i don't want to do i do and the things that i do i don't want to do man so we just got to keep the faith in your heart by Shema Shah, being in truth and truth and sincerity, man. And, and due to the best of your abilities with the spirit that the Most High put on you. And brothers find themselves in this truth, man. Find what the Most High got you set up to do, because we a body, man. And everybody can't be the same thing or the body. Everybody can't be the eyes. Everybody can't be the tongue. Everybody can't be the, the, the um, fingers, you know? Well, that's it, man. Brothers got it. That's why the scriptures say, um, let not your sins weigh you down. You know? yeah. can't, can't, be, can't, be, can't be condemned in the spirit. That brother has something that you want to do. I got something.
I just landed back out which I was speaking on about, you know, uh, Tom and being around me and having an order. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 32. And I'm going to start at verse 7. It reads, Speak, young man, if there be need of thee. Mm. See, it says, if there, if there be need. A lot of times it ain't needed, needed or expedient for you to talk right now. You know, you can go make a lesson about it. Right. It says, and yet. Or, 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 or to the Lord about it. You know, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of situations, man, the Lord really just be wanting us to come to him about, you know, and deal with him. Everything ain't got to be spoken out, you know, to the Mr. Men, man. Some things just got to be between you and the Lord. Right. That's right, right boo. It says, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. Verse 8. Let thy speech be short. And it made me think about that next chapter. It says, prepare what to say. You know, bind up instruction and then make answer. You know, so you got to meditate upon what you can't just be no babbler. You know, it says, let thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words. So you can summarize a lot with, 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 with a few words. Get straight to the point. You know, then get straight to the point. And you got men that make lessons like that. They get straight to the point. You know, they ain't got to be, you know, all over the place. You know, it's properly organized. Hey, Apostle the boss speaking about that day, man. They can call it a psycho um, thing, Babylon. Babylon. Yeah, psycho thing, Babylon. Yeah. You know? Because really, that's all it is, man. You got, you, you want to teach what's... Hey, if it ain't, hey, teach what's edifying, man. The whole thing is to edify. Teach, teach what's taught. Teach what's that taught, man. From going off. That's right, man. Yeah. You know, when you just start, because the more, like the brother saying, hey, the more you start keep speaking and speaking and you babbling, man, the more you're going to start coming out your own heart. Then it ain't, you ain't speaking the truth no more, because then you're going to start pouring out your own opinion and what you think. And that ain't what we're here to do. We're here to edify and teach like the brother said we've been taught. You got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we, don't, we don't preach confusion. Right? We mm -hmm. preach the scriptures. You know, it says, I'm going to start from the top. Sirach 32 and 8. Let thy speech be short, comprehending much and few words. Mm. Be as one that knoweth mm. and yet holdeth his tongue. Read that again. Sirach 32 and 8. Let thy speech be short, comprehending much and few words. Be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. That's wisdom. Yeah. That's wisdom, man. And guess what? The apostles and elders. Ultimately, you have watching my shies watching that, but the apostles and elders, our spiritual father, they watch it. You know, you don't want to be somebody on the camera just babbling. You know, hey, wait your turn. Um, verse or, or, or just in a video, just babbling. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. precept. Right. No precept. You know, hey, you know, brother. Um, I mean, at least quote, quote on um, precepts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and, and, and go into them, break them down like that. But you just talking. Talking what you gonna do or how you feel? Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna tear his ass up and I'm gonna. Nah, bro, this ain't no podcast. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna try these up. I'm gonna hold him in the air. I'm gonna people's elbows up, bro. Okay. Hey, if I can bump the shot, bring that. Um, two push-ups and please ask me to bump the shot. I I have one quick oh, push-up. Bump push up. Push -up. Uh, according to what you just read, bump the shot. This is on Proverbs chapter four, verse seven. It say wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thine getting, get understanding. Yeah, but you have to fear the Lord. See, the fear of the Lord will drive you down the direction of applying the wisdom. You know, you you listen to wise counsel, brothers that got more more experience than you. You know, because like the brother was mentioning in the scripture, say you're a novice that goes to being like a beginner. You know, the apostles and elders and, and elder bishops and brothers of the world view, hey, they, they of age. You know, they, they can go into those things and, and speak on those things. You know, but um, this is Sirach chapter 20 and um, verse 1. It reads, there is a reproof that is not coming. See, a lot of rebuke that go out is not beautiful to a lot of men. But the scriptures say open rebuke is better than secret love. So out of an act of love, He's telling you what to do and what not to do, but guess what? You don't take that the right way. Right. You know, you become yeah. offended, and you know that leads you to become a false prophet. Then you become a scoffer. Yeah. You stiff neck. Yep, yeah. it's stiff neck. Right, and a lot of and a lot of and a lot, and a lot of dudes um, can't take rebuke. Right. You know, even women. That's in this thing, man. You know, a lot a lot of people they they turn their ear to rebuke. Soon as rebuke come out, they want to start um um. Saying something, saying, saying it's hate, man. Instead of shutting, you know? instead of shutting the hell up, you get rebuked 
to shut the hell up. If you ain't being humble, if somebody humble and you tell them you need to humble yourself, they ain't gonna come back. I am humble. Right. Nah, right. you you ain't fucking humble. Right. Right. Shut the fuck up. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. 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 They show you that they ain't in the spirit of Yahweh Shot. Right. Because if you in the spirit of Yahweh Shot, if you really believe in the Lord, like people say they do, you really believe in the Bible. When, when things coming down the, down the pipe, bro, and, and, and the Spirit of the Lord is speaking, you're going to humble down, and you're just going to be quiet, man. Right. That's the best thing to do, right. just to be quiet. Somebody asks you something, you don't, you don't, going back and forth, that's not humble, man. That ain't humble. That's confusion, man. Right. What's that pre-sale, Kayon? You like to pull out what the scripture's for? Review, correction, yeah. yeah. proof. So when you read the scriptures, and when you that why I, the scriptures that why the scriptures say Hebrews that the, this uh, word is sharper than what two edged and it ain't for a two edged for a reason. So it's cutting the hearer and the person speaking. Right. Right. So we be cut too. Yeah. Always getting cut. Yeah. So that's just part of this thing. If you stop or open your ear to rebuke, you a what the spirit say? He that is often a fool hardens his, his neck. It shall be destroyed and that without remedy. Sure. The scripture also say, um, a simple man will not be refused, but find an excuse according to his heart. So so ultimately, if you're not taking reproof, then you're a simple man. You're right. a wicked man. Because a righteous man going to adhere to correction. Right. You know? A man of understanding. A wise man. You know? He's going to see where he's falling at. He's going to correct himself. That's right. right. He's going to exempt it. Examine. You know? So he won't keep making the same mistakes. I keep going through the same things, or, or whatever the case might be, you know? He got to examine himself, so he's going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Right? But it's all a learning process. But you have to learn. You have to grow. You can't just stay on that, that, that same level and not grow, man. And keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. The spirit going to move on you, man. You know? That's why, that's why, bro, that's why we... That's why this is a fight. And that's why we have to examine ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know? Picking back up of Sirach 21. There is a reproof that is not comely. Again, some man hold of his tongue and he is wise. See, that made me think about what I was just reading in uh, Ecclesiastes 32. Be as, be as a one that hold of his tongue. Let thy speech be short. It says some man hold of his we just, it's a lot. Um we just went into the tongue. What was that in the um in the lesson? Yeah, yep. yep, yep, that James um what chapter three? three? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that remember. Out. Yeah, God. Okay. The tongue is dead. Right? Yep. Your tongue will fuck you up, man. Yep. Your tongue will get you casting away. Your yep. mouth. Talking too much. Instead of just shutting the hell up, man. Yep. And and see these while we go up these scriptures so we know, man. You know, so we know to just, hey, hey, to, to be quiet. If we just be quiet, hey, that's even in the world. Yeah. When they're interrogating you, and yeah. most of the guys yeah. that get out, the ones that be quiet. Yeah. And traffic light. Yeah. Right. You get stopped by the police. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. A agree with our adversary quickly. Right, and that's why the scripture says, desire the sincere milk yeah. that you may grow thereby. Right. Yeah. All this is a basic milk scripture. Right. Yeah. This is the foundation of the truth. Which is still important because when you're quiet, you can you can listen. Apostle Rambo said learn. the foundation yeah. is a is, 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 is the, the, the main thing. You can get, you, you can save the foundation. Right. You'll be delivered off of foundation. Right. Because the foundation is is, is the ground. Yeah. yeah. So you won't be a uh, taken by any storm. Or right. I'm gonna wrap this up. This is Rock 20 and chapter, I mean, you got it back. This is Rock chapter 20, verse 2. It says, it is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. And so, that applying the wisdom the right way according to the scripture, you know, against a brother or against brothers, you won't have malice in your heart because you wasn't angry secretly. You wasn't faking the phone. You know, you confess it. I like it, bro. I, I, I misunderstood that, bro. I was moving wrong. I didn't apply wisdom. You know? I mean, even, even thinking about now with that situation, what was going, what was going on.
know, think about if, 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 if the men of the Lord, you know, would have just not said nothing and just held that in angry, man. You know, that'll be blood on our hands, you know. Hey, so the so hey, so so the, that's the scripture to say, hey, it's better to reprove than to be angry secretly. We just we hey, we knowing that shit ain't right, but we ain't saying nothing about it, man. Because some of them may be, hey, some of them members may be of the elect. For not seeing the point of neighbor. That's right, man. So something has to be said, man. We can't just sit back. Because you got a lot of Israelites out there like that. They just want to, you know, sit go, back and go don't along, say nothing. Go, go along, along and get along, man. See, man that's, we, blood on your head. that's right. We can't be them type of Israelites, man. The Lord told us to cry aloud, spare not, show my people their transgression, show the house of Jacob their sins, man. We ought to say something, man. If you see, hey, I, I like that, that. And it's in that brother um page he said all the time. He got a a clip at the end at GMS Watchmen, he say, uh, if you see something, say something, man. God damn. Niggas want to just be quiet and just let shit go. No, you got it. That's a lot. That's why, that's why these um, different camps, they ain't right, bro. They, that's the, the unison shit. You got <clears throat> one guy teaching that the, uh, the, the, Mark, the Mark of the say um, the chip. One guy teaching that it's sin. One guy teaching that. We rebuke that shit, man. We we gonna tell you what it is, whether you like us or not, whether you wanna be be yeah, be friends with us, befriend us, whatever, bro. We're gonna tell you what the scriptures say. Not how we feel or what we think, man. Hey, by by doing diligent research, looking up these words, seeing what they mean, man. Which that's real law. Right. What we doing. The fact that Jake got a mindset on you know why y'all getting down on the person why you gotta why you gotta talk 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 about them and say that you, you don't really care about that person because you will let them destroy that so that's just like seeing a person finna get hit by a bus and you just sit back and don't say shit right. you know come on man you get this more on that yeah there's a few more versions y'all really got it um, Sirach, you got, you got your Sirach chapter twenty verse five there is one that keep of silence and is found wise. And another by much babbling become of hate. It says, Some man hold of his tongue because he have not to answer. And some keep of silence knowing his time. So it's all about, you know, proper preparation, man. Everything ain't and then a lot of things that's going on too. You got a lot of people that's speaking about things that ain't got to do. You know, don't don't, don't go into this, bro. That ain't hey, that ain't got nothing to do with you. Um, that is what you say, metal not in the middle of the night. Right. 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 I think one of the apostles, or one of the one of the, one of the elders, was going to say that when they they got to light when that happened, um, they they were saying when that first took place, and then to the, when it came to them to get sinners or found guilty or whatnot, that's when they started, you know, blaming the matter because they examined first. They ain't just, you know, when it first came out, we just yada yada yada. Oh, look 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 what happened. Oh yeah. They, yeah. But, but but that's going on in the, in the case though. I mean, a lot of people nice. you speaking on things, some get brought out, and you you just giving your two cents on it, and you don't know what's going on. So um, this is Sirach 2018, y'all brothers got it. To slip upon a pavement is better than to slip with the tongue. Right. So the man. fall of the wicked shall come speedily, man. Your tongue will get you fucked up, man. Excuse my language. Right. Your mouth, man. Call it for stroke. Right. Hey, that being angry secretly, right. then you irrationally speak on something, right. and guess what? It's too late. It'll cost you. It'll cost you. Stop it. Yeah. Because yeah. you've been thinking, you got envy in your heart. You know, you've been you've been thinking upon that shit. You can't let that shit go. Well, how the most I gonna let go of what you did? You want to be forgiven of your sins, of, yep. of the shit that you did in your life, the, the, the fucked up shit. You want the most out of forgive you and deliver you, but you don't want to forgive this person. Right. Man, it don't work like that. Because you being unmerciful, so guess what? The Lord, the Lord ain't gonna have mercy on you. Right. Because that's 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 the, that's the, that's the spirit of an Edomite, man. He he saw like that. He unmerciful as hell, man. Right. You know. You got him, Uncle Walker. Just one precept. This uh, classic. And if a brother can, um, Bob the shot hole, thirteen through five and seventeen. It's a classicals 19 and 24. He that have small understanding 
and fear of the Lord is better than one that have much wisdom and transgress of the law of the Most High. Mm. You got bro, you break it down. That's that self-explanatory, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, you got it. This is First Timothy. This is First Timothy, chapter five, verse seventeen. It says, "Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor." That's right. It says, "Especially they who labor in the word in the word and doctrine." That's right. You see, and this is why our apostles and elders are worthy of double honors. Why? Because they're laboring in that word and doctrine, man. You know, they haven't they haven't changed the doctrine up, man. You see, they haven't they haven't they haven't um uh, switch switch things up like you see these other camps doing, man. You know, they've been preaching the same truth. You know, a a a a since they've been in this thing, man. You know, preaching it to the teeth. You see. Because dudes a lot, lot, like to say, you know, stuff like, oh, y'all just followers of men and followers of men. No, the scripture tell you, man. If, if, hey, hey, give double honor to those that are that, that are worthy, man. That labor in doctrine, man. And we see it, man. This is the true doctrine, man. Because we see these words that are being spoken, hey, playing out and coming to pass right before our eyes, man. You know? That's why the scripture say, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, man. We don't give a damn about you unbelievers, man. We want we want concern about how the righteous gonna be saved, man. You see, you niggas just in your life. You got it, bro. You want to say, uh, we ain't coming up another way. We coming up. We came up under the apostles. Yeah. We came out to them. You know, they the ones that taught us the truth. So we did the double honor. And yeah, we stay in order. They put that. They put that. They the ones who were getting prayer time classes. They the ones who had. Uh, they they had. To Carry, they ain't had no uh, smartphones and shit like that hey, to look up stuff. Yeah, yeah and, and, and look, read books, bro. Yeah, they were once saved, and they came with the fucking way. Right. They're gonna get you. Right. That's what that's what uh, my fucking part just said. We came up under our elders. That's the same thing the men folks we supposed to do. Right. Like the brothers from Wi-Fi, they didn't do that. And they don't. And they don't uh, disrespect their elders. You know, they don't just, just bash you know, they don't do it. Right. right, but you know what, that's Jake bringing, that's Jake bringing them old world traits, that old man into the truth, because that's how niggas is in the world. You know, young young, young dudes in the world don't have respect for their elders even in the world, man. They'll cuss their grandparents out, you know, they'll cuss people out that's older than them, over them, you know. So they just bring that same type of discipline, You, I mean, that's that same type of disrespect into the truth with no discipline, man. See? And you're gonna be judged for that. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is dealing with those men, man. Hey, that's a, a beautiful um comment one of your uh, brothers um quoted about um King David not um disrespecting the song. He said that's the Lord's the Lord. Right. He killed he put the death uh, um, that, 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 yeah, but 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 you know, trying to yeah, yeah, he was trying to restore yeah. the Amalekite. Yeah, he came up saying, Yeah, I put salt stuff to you. Or whatever, you know, like, you think I'm happy about that? Yeah, he right. actually mourned for Saul right. to the point that his men, King David men, were getting upset because they was like, you, you love him more than you love us? Yep, yep. <laughs> go back, read that account. It got to the point that King David had to come up out of that state and get him off the people, bro. Because right. they did that same thing with um with him, him and Absalom with his son. Yep, yep. This thing real, man. Just He's still a man. Man, like. Right. <laughs> just because a man fall out don't mean that you was good. Right. That, that can be us, man. Right. That, that's why we gotta be humble on this thing. Just hey, um, but then be made it. That's what we do videos, but that be that, man. We ain't just just laughing and joking and and, and shit about men that, that, that fell shit, out. That ain't funny, bro. Right, right, but we know not. what's gonna happen to them. It's not, bro. If, if, if they don't repent and come back, well, hey, we, we we hoping that we make it, man. We don't want to shut up on nobody. That's why we do the rebukes and, and, and um, exhortation, and, you know, and, because we we hoping that they come back, man. Right. You know, and Apostle Paul always um, say he go men repent, Nate, um, different guys that's out here, man. Right. They don't got no hate towards us, bro. We just we just do according to the what the scriptures command us to do, man. You know, rebuke, reprove, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's what we do, bro. This shit, this shit ain't personal. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Verse 1, for behold, in those days and in that time, I shall begin, I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. And this is what we're seeing right now, man. The Lord is calling out to you Israelites, man, to come back because the Lord is about to bring us out of our captivity, man. You see? He's about to give us that inheritance that he promised to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. That's right. You see? Starting with the elect. You know? You got it, bro. Uh, this Joel 3 and 2 and I, I will also gather all nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat right. yeah, how was your real quick um, brother grab um, Zephaniah 3 and 8 you got it and then you can go back to um, um, my brother. this is the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8 therefore wait ye upon me do what Therefore, wait ye upon me. Wait upon Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah. Right, man. This is the Lord's movie. Right. This is the Lord's will. Right. We ain't about to do nothing, man. Right. What? What? Why? Why you Israelites can't get that through your head, man? Right. You niggas, man, right. trying to blame the ministry, man. But that's all you doing. Cause right. the Lord didn't tell us to do that, man. To take up arms. To go out here to gather men like we like we in that 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 that, that um mighty ancient spirit of old man we ain't that, that was like, then yeah man that was then we in a different time period right now man right. the only thing we supposed to be doing is preaching the word right it's prophecy that only that stone that was cut with our hands is gonna come and smite the foot of that image which is right right yeah, so jake trying to be the deliverer when the scripture tell you that no man yeah. is gonna buy you yeah. so that means you really don't believe in your shot yeah. Yahweh Shah name is a, is an omen omen yep. and prophecy, which we're gonna get into, say real quick, it fits that he's gonna be the one that's gonna rise up to the break. Yeah. You know I mean? And you know what's so spiritual about that, you gotta think about it. The Lord, the one that gave the devil the fact. Because we know through reincarnation, Yahweh Shah was Isaac. Right. Isaac, the one that gave this devil, hey, that the, the fatness of the earth and the floor, and the Lord through Yahweh Shah is gonna be the one that's gonna take him down, man. You see? He set this devil up. And he's gonna take this devil down, man. Not us, man. We the wait on him. You got it, bro. If I can say that's that's Bible prophecy, bro. Right. If you trying to if you trying to take matters into your own hands, you trying to upset prophecy. You're going against the will. Right. You're going against the will. Hey, what Yahweh Shah told Peter? 
you talking about, Larry? Hey, get me behind me, Satan. Satan. Like, nah, I ain't gonna let them take you, Lord. Like, hey, get me behind me, Satan. He said, um, Peter said that, um, I, I, I'm gonna die for you, Lord. Yeah. Hey, hey, the Lord said, you gotta deny me twice. Right. He went in the court. How you make you be the wrong? Right. right. He was in the, he was, yeah, he, cause he was, he was sincere, but he was in the wrong spirit, you right. know? Cause he loved the Lord. Yeah, so, you right. know, a man like you, you gonna feel those different emotions right. in the flesh, not understanding, you know, cause. He had to feel his life. Right, and if and if it is me and that's out there that's sincere, you know, they and move, come up out and moving shit. like that, you are gonna come out of that, man. Because guess what? At the end of the day, that's why you have the true men of the Lord who the Lord set up to correct and tell you, man. Right. You know, because if a, if a man is just sincerely going off, man, you just sincerely wrong. Then add heed to the wisdom that's coming out, man. Right. You know, because the the, the 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 mindset that a lot of these dudes out here trying to create these militia type mindsets, man. That shit going off, man. You got it, bro. And that's why the Lord going to bring judgment on these niggas, man. These niggas, that's that's what's in their heart. They, they it's in their heart to get carnal. Right. They 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 don't believe in this shit. They don't believe in the all of man. They ain't got no patience. Right. They tired of something. They like to take matters into their own oh, hands. They want to see things. They want to physically. Right. They gonna see, see something, it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> these niggas so supposed to know the scriptures. <laughs> They was back. They was. They was back in, in, in our apostles and elders at one west and, and, and back there, and they supposed to know, bro. That's why. That's why the apostles be so mad at you, niggas, man. General Johanna and all Nate and all y'all guys, cause y'all was right there with them, preaching sound doctrine. Zabak. <clears throat> yeah, yep. Zabak. Yeah, and that's his. That's his. Um, yeah. That's Ooh, the people yeah, that he's leading. Like, man, what, what what you leaders doing, man? That shit's crazy, man. And, that's, and, and just to add one more point before you get it, for you for you to tell for you to tell men the um yeah we gonna go out there hey everybody dressing all black right what 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 type what type of what type of um um perception are you trying to give off man come out here dressed in all black when you do come down here to the union everybody have all black on look, look, that's some look malicious like, shit um, man. Black yeah, yeah, man. Looking like a sorcerer. Looking like a, a damn witch. witch. Yeah. When that was um, Grandmaster Jaden was wearing. Yeah. Yeah. You see what happened to them? Look, all black has a negative connotation. Right. Yeah. <laughs> see what happened to them niggas? What Grandmaster Jay at right now? Right. Letting you know, man, the scriptures say that we will be over here in our land of captivity and we ain't going to have no mic in our hand. You ain't about to fight this devil, man. Hey, right. and it's going to put your ass in the damn jail. You can be certain. If, yeah. I can, if I can say the scriptures, I also say if this this work is yeah, if it's meant. It, it's it's not coming north. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey, in that same chapter, speak about how that man rose up. Yep. Among you and try to gather all those gather them men. Gather them in. Put them in. Put them in. See, like how Sha said too, just listen to you, brothers, which is beautiful. Um, you're really coming up some other way. That's right. right. That's all you're doing, man. You got to get you to that straight gate. And to add to what I'm saying, you got to go through that door. Which is how it shot, which leads me back to Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, self the Lord. Not us. We didn't say that. You know, it's a self the Lord, man. Right. You got to wait because this is his determination. Right. It says, until the day that I, that's singular, right. I, not we, not a, a bunch of camps going to do this for me. Yeah. No, no, no. It said, I. I like Deuteronomy 32 and 39, I kill, I wound, I heal, I make a, I, you know. Even when the Lord, but even when the, <laughs> even when the Lord set their leg up and men are turning the hundreds, it's gonna be all still of the Lord. The Lord gonna give the spiritual power, man. Right. The Lord gonna be the one that's gonna um 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 exalt his men to get them glorious bodies to come back down and hunt these down right. these down um heathens out of these dung holes. And, and also too, why would the Lord allow Jake to do that? And you know Israel gonna both they step against the Lord, yep. saying yep. we yep. have delivered ourselves. Yep. Yep. And Jake ain't, ain't gonna give no glorification to Heavenly Father. Uh, so we, we we know our people, man. and that's just like now when when that situation when that fight broke out. Get what you get what, what you got, niggas saying. They um uh, we whooped their ass. Yeah, we we whooped their ass. We got their ass. We whooped. Yeah, all right. You got it, bro. A corner mind is dope. Hey, just like um when they was in the wilderness, they saw the miracle that the Lord did. Just show you how they all get no praises to the Lord. Yep. Them niggas gonna make a, a Lord golden Lord. calf. You Israelite, us hey, Israel. Gonna make a golden calf and say this is the, the, the power. <laughs> They're saving. Yeah, fuck out of here, man. Niggas, man. Hey, a nigga, a nigga needs death, man.
Like that's the best rim they like a, like your one at time I always yeah. say the best yeah. rim thing for these two third niggas is death, man. Yeah. So they so they can come back in their rightful mind, man. Yeah. They go to Cam was that we was talking to Moses. Right. <laughs> that <shit's> crazy, man. <laughs> they saw the golden cow was on Mount Sinai. He's a whole like Jake delusion over there. <laughs> yeah. That's how you know y'all you know, about to know shop put, put that in the minds of them back then. You know what I'm saying? Put them to go off like that. But you just think of a, a golden calf giving you these prophecies and you know what I'm saying through Moses. Right. So who Moses talking to? Yeah. Like you said. Right. <laughs> so like hey, this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day, and the, and the word Lord is our cap, your hour, huh. until the day that I rise up to the praise. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. That's right. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yep. Because ultimately, Yahweh Shimei Al-Shah is about to get ready to punish these nations and recompense them because these are some of the same nations that came up against the apple of the Lord's out there. You know? He, he came up against the Lord's people, man, the Israelites, man. You see? So the Lord's about to bring judgment upon them for that. And also because these nations are, hey, they doing all type of abominable and wickedness in the earth, man. Especially Esau. You see? You know? So, hey, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, um, hey, we in the time where the Lord, hey, the prophecies that the Lord has set forth are, 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 are speaking, man. You got to go to go back in the Joel. Okay. Then Joel 3 and verse 2. It said, and I also will gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, Jehoshaphat. Yep, over there in the, um, in the Middle East. Yep, Persian Gulf. Yep. Fertile Christians. Yep. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. That's right, because those because those um those damn small hats that's over there right now ain't the damn people, man. They don't fit. See? They don't fit biblical prophecy. Even man. though there are some Israelites amongst, amongst them, them, but yeah. the majority of them ain't the people. Yeah. Just like the Palestinians, it's Israelites amongst them. We're We're amongst our We've been scattered amongst all nations, you right. know. And mixed and mean, mix and mingle among the heathen. Yeah. But those actual Amalekites and actual um um uh, Arabians and all those. You know, they ain't the people. Ishmaelites. They ain't the people, man. You know, and the Lord is about to come and remove all their ass out of that land. Why? Because he's about to set up his people, man. Right. You know, Isaiah 14 and 1. You got it all. It says, whom they have scattered amongst the nation and parted my land. That's the reason why they were there fighting that land. Because yep. it's heathens fighting over that land. They parted. One side went to Amalek. Those, those uh, 1948ers and the other side went to who? Hey, them Ishmaelites, them Arabs. Hey Baba, hey, Baba Kashar, but brother can hold that. Get that precept where it speak about, um, it speak about, and, and, and they shall take thy land. Um, it's a scripture that prophesied about Amalek, at the Amalekite about, about them taking the land. If brother, if brothers know where that's at. Yeah. It's a ball. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Just try to, try to find it. It's Joel 3 and 3, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harley, which they did during slavery. Sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Drink, yeah. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane, mm. right? Hamites, and, and all the coast of Palestine, right? If you going to the Palestinians, yeah. right? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, which are the most precious um, vessels. Or the Lord's people, and they literally they took down our uh, temple yeah. and stole the actual uh, goodies of the temple, man. Yeah. The gold, the cups, the shoe yeah, bread. What you're saying, uh, that's what this is. This is called. Uh, they said they have mm -hmm. the possession of the Jews, the Jews and Rubies. Yep. So that yep. And hey, that's why the scripture said, "How can have my gold become them? Yeah. The Lord was foreign to us. That's why He said He's gonna make a man more precious than fine gold, right? It says, um, because you have taken away my silver and gold." And have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things, right? And that happened during what? Nebuchadnezzar, right? and also during uh, the, uh, 70 AD, tied to Vespasian, man, when they uh, sacked the temple and rent it, and burnt it to the ground, and took all the vessels, the ark of the covenant, all those things. That's the most size and goodly jewels, man, and they and his people. Verse six, he's saying, in the children of Judah, and the children of Jerusalem, had ye sold to the Grecians, 
right? And that ye might remove them far from their borders, man. And our people are scattered all throughout the four winds of the earth. And this is what the, um, the mass of um, salvation is going to happen to deliver because this is what Israel and Judah was oppressed together. Right. You got it, though, boo. <clears throat> I had to do something. You got it out. <clears throat> this is um, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 15. It says, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the even. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thine reward shall return upon thine own head. That's right, man. And the most I'm about to bring great judgment upon you, even. And it's good to say, um, uh, um, the curses is about to be turned around. They're about to be um, taken off us and put on you, even, man. First and foremost, starting off with you, Edomites. And it ain't gonna be no escape, man. Cause the Lord is about to put uh your how by Shemar Shah is about to put everything back in its rightful order, man. Hey, it's a it's a it's it is beautiful, man, to have this truth, man, to, to know these things. That's why we gotta wait upon the Lord, man. Because the Lord is gonna do what he's about to do, not us, man. And that's prophecy. And prophecy must and will be fulfilled. And if you rebel against prophecy, you're going to find yourself a, a, um, in the spirit world, man. Yes. Lord ain't playing. Yeah. He's going to do that for his name. Right. To magnify his name. Right. His son's name. Man. Right. To keep the promise that he made. Right. right. And he's not alive. I have one more. You got it, right? This is, um, this is, um, Micah chapter 5, verse 15. It says, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen. And that's what brothers is just going into. Where? In the uh, Valley of Jehoshaphat. Mm -hmm. you no, know? and that's what the Most High going to execute his, his vengeance, his fury, his anger upon them, man. He's going to revenge us, man. The better decision. Right. The Lord is going to avenge us. We've got to wait a fight, wait like the brother just read. Wait here upon the Lord until the day that he rise up to the prayer. We ain't going to do nothing. The Lord told us to come out here and prophesy. He told us to preach, man. And that's what we that's what we got to do, bro. And wait upon the Lord. We don't we ain't got we ain't going against Elam, Ishmael, Esau. <laughs> hey, cuz first off, we still in Esau's kingdom. We don't got no spiritual power. And and and, and we ain't we we can die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it says, and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as such as, as they have not looked heard of. That's right, man. And that's what the Lord is about to do to these heathens, man. They're going into captivity. Just like we, we in captivity right now. We went uh, through the Atlantic slave trade, the, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, Esau about to face that. Ham, Elon, Ishmael, Moab. We just got to wait upon the Lord, man. He about to execute that vision, man. That's that song, like, 149. Yeah, find your king to change. change. <laughs> right. Hey, there's no, he, he said, um, to execute upon them, the mm. children of the Greek. Yep. Uh, mm. and he that lead us to captivity. Shout out to captivity. captivity. Uh. And like we know, hey, we done been in captivity all to all these nations. Some too. He told you how it's trying to wait. Right. Hey, sit down my right hand shall make thine enemies thy footstool. So what if he would have just got down? Nah, nah. I'm gonna go now. And right. your house shot is waiting because you don't even know when he's coming. Right, right. He's waiting. He even Perfect order. Yeah, perfect order. That's how you know it's a father and it's a son. Right. Right. You know right. They don't want to call, but that's two different yeah, They they, they right. joint together in the same mind, but they two different yeah, it's People Absolutely. dumb as hell, bro. They, they say it, it's fake. People dumb as hell. The script is clearly always saying things about my my, I, my father is greater than I. Right. Uh, you know, and it's when the Lord spoke from the chariot, this is my son, who I well, yeah, yeah. Right. Just these different scriptures, bro. Yeah. Like you just said. Hey, um, the brother just quoted, sit ye at my right hand. Right. You know? Yeah, but he gonna sit himself. 
Right hand. King David said, "The Lord said unto my Lord." Right, right. They, they say, "Hey, I'll, you know, I'll, you know, when the Lord pays Lord, it means they can be helped." Yeah, because right. the, 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 see that that's that's a stumbling block for people too. Yeah, just like the word God is a stumbling block. Yeah, right. Because yeah. the time because it, in, in, in Genesis, right. that's plural. Right. I'm talking about the judges, the powers, yeah. the angels. But J O C said, "God said He made it." No, 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 man. You need a teacher. You, right. you need teachers. You need to look up the understanding of the word. Yeah. Right. You need to listen to the apostles. Yep. Right, right. right. They like that Catholic doctrine. Yeah. That's what most of these people are. <laughs> they're Catholic. Yeah. And they're, um, even Yahweh Shah said to me, like, hey, there's none good but the Father, you know? So he couldn't be just talking about himself. He said, hey, ain't none good but the Father. And that's confusing. Yeah. Yeah. And to back you up, point of all about the shot of the hand, Yahweh Shah said also, St. John 10, um, the, uh, the lick can't be plucked out of my hand. And the next verse, I think it say, my father have gave them to me. Right. You know? So my father's great than all. You know? So if, if he is, how, why he why he separating himself and saying the father, my father gave them who he called upon in the cross. And why would the most high come down and lick me and beat them? Yeah, it's the right. most high we right. talking about. Right. Whoever seen the most high and live? Right. They be tweet. People got to use reasoning, man, but they don't. What's the reason? Most high eyes are too pure to behold evil. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. He, yeah. Like, people just, man, they got to stop it. Mm -hmm. And you err not knowing the scriptures, man. That's why the, the scripture referred to as a stumbling block. A, uh, uh, let your table become a snare. Because this truth was supposed to be for your welfare, which was supposed to sustain you, actually become a trap unto you, man. Right. It becomes become bitter to you. And that, and that might be. What is it say? And that mouth is sweet as honey, mm -hmm. and, that, and that stomach is bitter. Become bitter, man. Huh? And people, people want the truth. They want to hear the truth. They want to know the truth. But when they hear the truth, actually, it cuts them, bro. Yep. It becomes bitter. They can't wait. Mm -hmm. They want to. They, they, they so doctrinized from the world. They want to go off of how they feel or what they think. Yep. Instead of doing what the Most High say you're supposed to be doing to the best yep. of your ability, mm -hmm. at least trying. Right. And that's the way Grandma was talking. Right. And that's because they um they serve the creature more than the creator. Right. Because Esau told you that you can have your own opinion. That go after your emotions and your feelings. You know? Do it do what your heart desires. Do as thou wilt. You know, that's what Esau talked about. And that's what they serve, the creature more than the creator. But if a brother ain't got nothing, yeah. Um brother whole um Isaiah uh, whole Isaiah thirty four. Yep, and another brother is Bob Fishaw Hole, second edge of 16, the first shot. Yeah, you know it. They were part of the team. Yeah. Um, but you got some? Yeah. yeah you, you bring out what you, what you got. I can get yours and just hold that idea. Yeah, I'm going to get you. Out in the time of thine anger, the Lord Yahweh shall swallow them up in his anger, in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. All these other nations. That's it, man. Yeah, we on the side right here. Yeah, we on the side right here. What they did, though. Oh, everybody know who you is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They concentrated five from Jericho. You got it, bro. This is Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 29. It reads, call together the archers against Babylon. That's not right, talking about ancient Babylon. We're like talking about America. Babylon the Great. It says, call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow. We're talking about the uh, It says, camp against Babylon. <laughs> Yeah. It says, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she have done, do unto her. So Babylon the great, great judgment. It says, for she have been proud against against the Lord Yahweh, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets. And all her men of war shall be cut off 
in that day, okay. says the Lord Yahweh. Hey, Babylon, the great American military, man. Hey, the Lord about to send a lot of you, a lot of you, um, you, you, you military army, you know, guys over there to that to that valley Jehoshaphat to receive your judgment, man. You know, hey, that 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 that's gonna be that's gonna be your fate, man. Being put in the midst of World War Three and meeting the Lord when He come back with those angels, man. You right. See, that last verse. You want to say something? Nah, okay. Right, okay, it's all good. You got it, bro. Yeah. Oh, they got their costumes, man. Oh, yeah, kind. But little pastor would have been out here. They would have been like, oh, hold on. Why didn't that nigga there look like a pastor? The one that, 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 I am against thee, O thou most proud, and you Edomites, man. You elite that know, you know, talk international uh, rank of families, man. You know, it says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord God of hosts, meaning armies, for thy day is come. And you hear that? The, 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 uh, the bell had to chime off there. For thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. Mm. Judgment against Babylon the Great is right. coming, man. It seems all gloomy and pretty right now. Right. This day is a hey, Babylon the Great. Right. Hey, the day um or the day of the Lord is near, but one day this place is gonna be set on fucking fire, man. Right. Right. Desolate. Yep. Biblical prophecy. Biblical prophecy. Right. And, 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 and this is that day, you know. Because the scriptures say that the Lord set bounds that Esau could not pass, man. That, he, that his time was set for a measure of point of the time. And we're, right now we're in that time. We're in the end of, hey, of um, I think you were speaking about it earlier, the um, the, the, the peak, man. You know? Oh, yeah. right. we, we, at, we at that last land, man. Right. And the Lord's about to set his people up, man. Right. That last beast that's going to be upon the earth. Yep. That last kingdom, yep. which is Esau, the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of that power. That's right. So the Edomites had to be in power. Yep. I got a person that's in power to use the meat. They have, they have, uh, they just vanished, man. They, they go on over there to their, uh, these little islands and they bunkers, man. They left this place for dead, man. Right. Any day now, this place can go under, man. Right. And they're going to look for some stuff. Right. Yeah. But we know that the, the sea has still got a, you know, which is called first time. Right. I got a quick priest on this song. Um, um, first John chapter 2 verse 15 it says it says love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man loves the world the love of the father is not in him right you ain't gonna better let the world go that's why a lot of people can't come into this glorious gospel because they can't depart from the world right. See, all, them, all them that was just right there right. they love this world bro it's right. a lot no, no, you good, brother. Um, a lot of people don't have vision. They can't see these prophecies. They don't believe in them. They don't see a, a new heaven and a new earth where the will of Washington. They don't see us coming out of this state. Right? So um, they only can see what they can touch, taste, feel, right. tangible, which is the world. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. That's why they store up and heap up themselves treasures to try to deliver themselves. But when the Lord actually makes these things come to pass, it's going to be a like, for the detriment. Yep. That's why the scripture tells us to love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right? Because we understand, according to prophecy, that this world is not going to last forever. Right. It, it's going, it's going, hey, what does the scripture say? Oh, no. It shall melt with fervent heat. Right. You got it. Yeah, they, they, they going to uh, stop the Yeah, yeah. Free schooling. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They get the VA loans. They home. Yeah. That's, how yeah. that's how they trip. Uh, they trip. children set up. Yeah. You can, hey, don't get married in the military. You definitely straight. Oh, hey, you just, sent hey, a lot. Hey, yeah. just something basic.
I, I see stuff but going to enjoy that. How they give military appreciation, you go in a certain restaurant, come in here and just sit down, eat. Should they get free. lower interest rates on houses? Yeah, all that, man. You know? Hey, yeah, go, go in the store, it's shoes, clothes, all that. Discount. Yeah. Discount. Yeah. They truly feel like you, Yeah. But they, hey, they, when they get, uh, the, uh, they said, uh, uh, the, the, the military vets. Oh, the draft, the draft going up from 34 to 50. Yeah. So, yeah, hey, yeah. they could go back to war. Right, a lot of these used to eat as niggas out here. These two third niggas out here, they pants hang out there. A lot of them gonna get drafted. Yeah, yeah. eighteen up that's out here. They east out. They don't. They, in the society, they unuseful. They blowing up everything. A lot of these niggas, the east out gonna draft their ass. They gonna get destroyed over there. What does Chris say all this? The young woman should mourn having spirit. on her husband, yeah. and they should die in the war. A lot of these niggas gonna go to uh, get drafted. Yeah. Gonna, right, we're gonna see. If we're gonna see if you're gonna be hey, ready to be a proud American then right. to serve or, your or country goon. then. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or a goon. Yeah. yeah. A stepper. We're gonna see you a real step out there in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. When yeah. you yeah. stepping on landmines and shit. Yeah. And, that, and, the, and the military don't even take care of their um, vets, man. You need to see a lot oh. of these. Um, yeah, military guys out here homeless and hey, with one leg. Right. Shit, no eye. Which is unrighteous. Right. The scriptures say the Lord hate that. Right. To see a, a warrior that stuff for yeah. property. Mm -hmm. That man supposed to be well off. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's why the scripture said for you grab that box and shot that your coat was on the spirit. A gift to screw up the heart. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a pressure make up a wise man man, but a gift to destroy two thirds of our people. Man. Right. This is uh first John chapter two, verse sixteen. It says, For all is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world passeth away. Mm. That's the point I wanted to get, man. And it is about to pass away by thermonuclear power. You know, the Lord from the hey, Great hey, whitewash. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Can't wait. Yeah. Lord from the whitewash um, Babylon, the Great America, man. All these, like the brother just saying, all these beautiful trees, all this beautifulness that you see right now, you go into these bigger cities, you know, all these skyscrapers, all these immaculate, the Lord about to burn all that shit up, man. Yeah, he about to take this, he about to burn his own infrastructure up, man. You know? Hopefully you get saved for that fire. Yep. Because what they because what, what they fail to realize while they looking at us with this thing, they turning away something that's good for their benefit and they run into something that's bad, that's for their destruction. Right. That's gonna lead them to destruction. While you while you trying to turn your hand at salvation, the way that you going is leading you to a way of destruction. Right. You know? It's a morning It says it says, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the hour by the not. Abide him forever. And that's it. And what we're doing out here right now, we're doing the will of Yahweh Shah. Right. You know? Hey, and I and I respect the lot. Lord willing, we continue to endure and do the will of Yahweh Shah. You know? But see, the, the, our people, they ain't they ain't doing nothing for the Lord, man. They going about amongst their own way. That's why the scriptures even tell you that. It says, Go your way, for I will not spare you. Right. You see? And he said, when the time of death and destruction comes, he ain't gonna save you out of it, man. He gonna laugh at you, man. You know? You laugh, certain. They are gonna call on the Lord in that time. Right. Yeah. They do it before they give them the death bed. They go back to what corner was saying earlier. And then they're gonna say, Lord, Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. But you don't really want that answer from your house. Shot, man. He's gonna tell you to the party. I never knew you. Yeah. Work is, oh, you got it, bro. I was watching the movie and I, I thought about it. I was watching a, a, a show the other day ago and I thought about yes, it. Yes, sir. It was, it was like a sense of horror, but when um, Jesus was talking about the woman and the enemy, the enemy came out of her womb. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Lord, Lord, right. shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But you can also interpret not everybody that know the name of Yahweh Shai to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So just because you <laughs> know the names, but you ain't living according to the name, you're not uh, in this thing in truth and sincerity. You're not uh, preaching the correct doctrine. I don't mean you're gonna make it, man. You can drive it in 20 years. And, and, and you ain't right. You can fall short right here. The Lord is not a respecter of person. The, the Lord don't give a damn who you is. If you ain't right, he's gonna move. Because he hey, he's not a man that he shall lie. No repent. It don't matter how many precepts you know, how eloquent of a speaker you are, you know, how many works you have done. If you ain't right, if you ain't part of the elect, bro, the most time you're gonna get to us. Really wicked. Yep. Really doing that shit in, in vain. Right. For vain glory. Mm -hmm. To be praised of men. Right. It says, but he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. <clears throat> I'm gonna read that from the top. <clears throat> this is Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. It says, Not everyone that shall say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven right which we're doing the will right? yeah how about you coming out here preaching his word hey, hey, um, in this truth and, and the truth and sincerity to the best of our abilities hoping for salvation yeah they hope by doing what, what's commanded of us we're going to gather the elect through the spirit of power y'all by shinar shot man which they're going to see us having faith, and and, and, and they're going to come in off of seeing us believe, man, and hearing the words of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. Because we don't speak our words, we speak the words of the Lord. And it's like you say, that your light shall shine before men. See, this is why you got to be walking in the right way, because little do people know, hey, people, people, people out here watching, man. They're taking heed to the to the to the prophet, whether they, hey, that's what you say, whether they hear or whether they forbear. But they still seeing what's going on, you know? So we gotta be walking in the right spirit in the right way, man, because we don't wanna be considered hypocrites before Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah's eyes. You got it up. Verse 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonder, wonder, wonderful works. All right, God is going to be trying to plead that case. The guy, you, you fell out. Are you as wicked, man? Are you as coming against order? You know, are you wanting to do your own thing? Are you wanting to uh, preach your sound doctrine because you, 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 you took the purse? You saw it out. Are you wanting the filthy lucre? Are you wanting the kingdom right now? Want the glory right now. Right. A lot of guys gonna be pleading their case, man, but you wasn't in this thing in truth and sincerity and you didn't do the will of your house by you know, shot. So God's gonna ask the Lord that. And verse 20, verse 23 it says, and when and then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Hey, that's terrible, man. It wasn't never mine. <clears throat> it wasn't never his fruit, man. <clears throat> he said, I will profess. He said, and then I will profess unto them, I never knew them. That's, that's scary, man. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Real one, real one. Real one. That's that yeah. That's terrible, You know, the Lord, you know, you calling on the Lord, and he just, he just leave you out there, bro, whatever to get you, whatever calamity it may be. I never knew you. I don't know you. I don't know him. Leave uh, that, that, that sense of that hedge of protection. Leave you. Right. The Spirit of the Lord. You feel that just apart. You're like Saul. Saul felt that the Spirit of the Lord wasn't on him no more. The Lord wasn't answering none of his uh, prayers. He wasn't receiving visions. Hey, and that's why he sought to uh, seek that witch. And, and started and, and did witchcraft to come up on uh, uh, a prophet, Samuel. And he still condemned him, bro. Because so you don't know wicked. when the Lord ain't with you. Right. You, he, he knew you weren't supposed to go to him. The very same thing he, that he was condemning. Right, he started doing. The last thing that man was worse than the first. That's scary, bro. 
That's why, brothers, and we all got to be a, 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 a repentant and, and sincere, man. And obedient. And yeah. obedient to the best of our ability, right. bro. Own it, off the camera. Right. Yeah, because that wouldn't matter more. Off the camera, your yeah, day-to-day walk. Right. That when the Lord really looking at you, right? To go back to what brother was going to earlier, when the Spirit was going about wisdom and how you living for real. Right. Mm-hmm. You know that matters, man. Right. That matters. We get them ready to celebrate Thanksgiving. You know, take Thursday. out the garment. Hey, give them a triple tree and right. cut the pigs up and or let me go smoke this weed or make mm-hmm. this play or let, let me, me go this meat lover. pop this girl on her monthly or let me go commit adultery, whatever right. abominable ass shit that you really never did let go. Right. right, you know, because that's what it is, man. You got the many gonna say, Lord, Lord, the Lord right. don't want that, that, that right. sacrifice. That's not the sacrifice he wants. Right, it was her obedience. Right, the scripture says you're supposed to hate. <laughs> right. The scripture says you're supposed to hate that vehemently. Right, you're supposed to hate that With sin vehemently. And I, and I, and, 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 I, and I know that's the spirit because guess what? I had, um, just to give a quick testimony, I went into the store today doing DoorDash, and I heard somebody that had sent me to the store to, um, pick up a bunch of Christmas shit. And just being in the in the midst of that shit vexed my soul, bro. I really wanted to catch it all. Just like, you know what? This some bullshit. Like, and that's how you're supposed to feel about it. You ain't supposed to be like brother saying you secretly going behind right. closed doors and you just like, um, right. you know what? I'm just looking. Yeah. Oh, Shalom. Yeah. But then you putting that tree up. Right. You got you you, you, you slick wrapping through that. Yeah, one foot out, really one, one foot out, one foot in. Oh man, the Lord gonna destroy you, man. Bob Fishop, I know you ain't finished. Our brother hold Ecclesiasticus one. And 25 on down to 30 for me, real quick. Yeah, yeah it'd be brothers that really, guys that's calling themselves Israelites like that's really doing that shit. Yep. Making a pump, bro. That shit, that shit crazy. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. That shit crazy. <laughs> this, um, Matt ain't fooling was, nobody. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> fooling yourself. Yeah. Fooling it down. So. This Matthew chapter 7, verse, verse 23. It says, and then I will profess unto them I never knew thee I never knew you depart from me ye that work iniquity you know sin what? upon sin yeah. Yeah. niggas being wicked as hell man being a hypocrite yeah. being a hypocrite being, being a reprobate so you preach out to others but you yourself do Luke 646 why call you me Lord, Lord? Do it not my will. Which I say. <laughs> Simple. That's the reason why you're supposed to be learning. To do, to do what you say. Yeah, I'm shy. <laughs> you, you calling on the names of the Lord, like the brother said. Just because you know the names don't mean you're going to be saved. You calling on the names of the Lord, but you ain't doing shit that come with the vibration of knowing those names. Be ye doers of the word and, and not, not hearers hear only, man. Deceive the, yourself. The Lord say, um... The Lord say with him actions are ways, man. You see, you got to put forth the action. You got to show the Lord, you know, that you're really serious about this thing, man. And if you're really a man of the Lord, the Lord going to put the spirit on you to do that. You know, or a sincere woman or, or a child or whoever, you know. Right. you really sincere in the truth, the Lord going to put the spirit on you to do that, man. But if you ain't know the Lord's elect, you ain't going to be able to do that. Right, the Lord going to get you to fuck away from us, man. It's yep. point blank, period. And we don't care. Because right. we understand what the scriptures say. Right, bro. You got some more on that all? Yeah, I got a little bit more than y'all got it. Uh, this is on uh, Matthew 7, uh, verse 24. It says, Therefore, whosoever hear those sayings of mine and and doeth, doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Right. That's why we, that's why the Lord, um, um, call us stones, you know, and we stones, bro. Lively stones, kind. And that's why the, the um, an apostle the heart, a, a, the group is named Great Millstone. Because we, we, we hard, man, a hard rock. Uh, um, um, against the world. What it say? You make your faces hard against their faces, Adam of Adam, Adam and Stone. Yeah, that's God. Right. That's hard stone, man. Because yeah. the Lord ain't give us a spirit of fear. Right. Yeah. And we walk with wisdom toward those that are without it according to the scriptures. But bro, we ain't about to just fear you. Right. Because you some mighty looking man. Like, shit, you got some big ass muscles, a bunch of guns. Like, oh, 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 you got a lot of money. What's status? Military experience. Yeah, what, what they call them? Um, 
marksmen's and sharpshooters and shit. So, brother had got that. Uh, excuse me to say, look not at a man uh, uh, upon his stature. Um, you know, because they like King David. They had brothers, man. And Apostle uh, Paul was going into that. He said, King David's brother is small and light like skinned. You know, hey. But they called him ready. Yeah, he could. Which means that what, he wasn't no warrior. He kept the sheep. Right. But he but he slew a lion and a bear, man. Right. Off believing and having faith in the Lord and the light. With a slingshot. Oh, the lion, man. Yeah, yeah the light. Mm -hmm. With and a slingshot. So his ass up. The lion didn't know where it is at. Yeah, really got it. Yeah, I appreciate it. No, no. Real quick, I want to read that they're going what y'all saying because it really don't. With the with, when you serve the Lord, bro, it really don't care about might or strength, man. You know, and this is a favorite account I like to get. I just want to read this and then you got it, and then we go to that. This is um, first Maccabees 3 and verse 18, and it says, Unto whom Judas answered, matter of fact, I'm gonna start from the top just to get to the point of it. Verse 17, it said, And who, when they saw the host coming to meet them, and said unto Judas, how shall we be able, being so few, to fight against so great a multitude mm. and so strong, seeing we are ready to faint with fasting all this day? You know, and this is what they was asking to do when they was about to um, go to war, I believe, with, um, I want to say, who they was going to go to war with? I want to say with the Philistines. And the Maccabees. Look at the you with the Romans. The Romans or whatever, but the point being, you know, they was asking, they was like, you know, it was a great multitude that was standing about them, and they was like, How are we gonna be able, you know, hey, hey, to go against them, seeing we fainting all this damn fasting? It said, And Judas told him, verse 18, unto whom Judas answered, It is no hard matter for many to be shut up in the hands of a few, and with the pop and with the most high of heaven, it is all one to deliver with the great multitude. Hey, if I say, uh, Samson. Later, a, a thousand Philistines, bro. The jawbone of the name. One, one man. You got a picture of that. One man going through a thousand Philistines. You know they had the armor. You know they had the shields. You know they had the swords. They know how back then how they used to be dressed. The helmets. They probably was girded up. And he just had a jawbone of the ass, man. That was with the Seleucid Empire. The Seleucid Empire. Huh? That was with the Hey, when we got the Lord, bro, nothing is impossible. Yep, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we got to trust in your how about you know, shop, man. Water. No matter what we being faced with, that's why these scriptures build us up. So we can have that faith, so we can that's trust. I mean. You know, because the time is coming yeah, where okay. some of us going to be faced with uh, different scenarios. We're going to have to trust in the Lord, man, right, right. to get us out of that, uh, do whatever he going to do with us, man, to use us. Right. To magnify him. <clears throat> you got it, bro. It says to deliver to deliver with a great multitude or a small company. Verse 19, for the victory of battle mm. standeth not in the multitude of an host. That's right. But strength coming from heaven. That's hey, what I'm doing. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. What you like to say? Nah, you got it, bro. Okay. Now I was gonna say, look at um um, um Egypt. And the Lord the, the Lord delivered <coughs> Israel from Egypt, man. You know, Pharaoh them had weapons and all that shit. Yep. You know, uh, horses, you Chari know, chariots. Mm -hmm. And the Lord delivered them, man. Right. That was a mighty army. Yeah, but, but the Lord, mm -hmm. which you gotta understand, the Lord is in control of these, these <coughs> military minds. He said he ruled up in the kingdom of men. Right. You see? So the Lord is in control of all this military power, all this. So who are you to fear? You gonna fear that or you gonna fear the one that ultimately controls it? The Lord can take that shit down with a blink of an eye right. for his men. Right. You know? He said the deceive and deceiver is his. Yeah, he right. said he formed the light and create darkness. He make peace and create evil. Mm -hmm. he, he, I, the Lord, do, do all, all these things. things. That's right. You got that. Yeah, I got a quick precept. The last one was brought out. Maccabees, this is Psalms chapter 33 and verse 16. There is no king saved by the multitude of hosts. Right, an army. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. 
It made me think about Jeremiah 9 and 23. A mighty man don't glory in his might. Right. Right. You don't glory in your might, man. Right. The Lord will knock you off the map for that. You thinking hey. that this, this is because of you. Look at all these bodybuilders, bro. Dropping dead, having elbows. Little small yeah. chicken kids. They getting skinny as hell. They don't got that shit no more. Mike Tyson. <clears throat> all these different niggas, man, that boasted. Oh, I'm untouchable. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. I am, guy. Right. Yeah, this nigga's in, bro. Niggas get Never Posted up. Yeah. Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. They've been crazy now about Shalom Shah for they took the arms to go to That's the wildest thing you can do. Right. Joshua did it. That's why he told Joshua. The understudy of Moses, he said, um, be not dismayed, be of good courage. Right. Right. Be with you whithersoever thou goest. Right. Why was he telling them that? Joshua had to consult with him. Right. And Joshua's name is what? Yahweh Shah. Telling us not to fear, bro. Don't don't fear whatever predicament we put into, man. Ahead, um, example on Earth, the apostles. They ain't right now doing they own um, trial and tribulation. They was locked up for for some days, man. They was locked up. They didn't know what was gonna happen. They could have got sent to the island, bro, and they would have had to bear that, whatever. But they or kept the faith in the Lord, bro. I put the devil. They could have hit them with a chair thing and been like, they got to get their own lethal injection or something. Right. Look at them now. Yeah. I got last two questions. Let's get that. The brother ain't got none. Okay. Get that first message. This is um Galatians. Not first message. First message. Um, you got the one. Okay. This is an epistle of the Apostle Paul, Galatians chapter one, and verse nine. I'm gonna start at as we have said before. So say I now again, if any man preach a uh, if any man preach any other gospel mm. unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Because there's only one truth. There's only one truth, man. The truth of the Hawa Bahasham, the Hawa Shah. The true doctrine. And then Yahweh Shah said, he keep the, the, they that keep my saying. The word saying goes to two teachings. You know? Uh, verse 10, the point, it says, For do I now persuade men mm. or the most high? Or do I seek to please men? Right. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of a Mashiach. Right. You know, so guess what, man? We ain't pleasing men, man. This thing, this thing is not about a mighty man thing or a right. camp banging, hanging thing. No, right. we trying or to... Competition. A competition. Right. Or, or, or trying to prove a man that you right. No. Hey, the Lord, watch. He ain't got to prove nobody, man. Okay. And guess what? Yah, my Shemar Shah is the main viewer. That's the main view. You can have a thousand views, but on the inside of you, bro, you're not even right. You're deceiving all the. Hey, what the scripture said, the Lord, that they see if the secret will reward you open. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, hey, you just keep doing right by the Lord. Yeah. Don't yeah. worry about it. Then, you know, there's another reason why to not be seeking to pray for men, even with those views. Like I said, you can have a thousand views, but all them views on there ain't even sincere. The people that's watching you, man, everybody on it, out, 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 out of them a thousand, it's probably only 30 on there that's really actually taking heed. Right. So you really ain't got no reason to be trying Ezekiel to. Ezekiel 33 and 30. Yeah, really for the yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Ezekiel 33. You see? So, damn the view, man, like he said, like the brother just said, man. Who, hey, what, what the Lord, um, the Lord will, um, do, you doing sick of the Lord will war you openly, man. Right. You know? Verse 11, Galatians 1 and 11, but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man, mm. for I neither received it of man, mm. neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh Shah of yep. And that's who we're trying to please, like, bro. But that's who we're trying to please, man. Because if we're not pleasing Yahweh Shah, you won't be elected. Mm. You're not, if you're not a part of the, the, the 144,000 and the great number multitude, whatever you're doing, don't matter to him. It don't matter to them, and it's simple as that. You gotta be elected and chosen, man. And the how, how, how do we please the Lord? By doing what he say, fearing him. The whole duty of it. And th that's love, What's, that's love according to the scriptures. Love is the keeping of the commandments. And in wisdom of Solomon, um, it says love is the care of discipline. You gotta watch how you act and your behavior. That's a big thing in this truth, man. Your manner of life, your conduct. Yeah. I want to shoot my salvation though with an upright conversation. Right. And you mentioned, and, 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 um, I just pulled a precept that made me think about what you brought, that it's not um, 
this ain't like the men, you know, as the people tell you that this ain't the wisdom that we teach ain't the um ain't the ain't the wisdom that man teaches. That's right. You know, but the what the wisdom of the Adam Lord man, how about shouldn't y'all shop? So in the first Corinthians, right. we only speak wisdom of those that are, um, that are perfect. That's right. Perfect will understand. Understand it. Ecclesiasticus 1 and 25. The parables of knowledge are in the treasures of wisdom, mm -hmm. but godliness is an abomination to a sinner. <laughs> <laughs> you, see that? Um, you got it up. Nah, you got it, bro. Hey, the scriptures say um, godliness is an abomination to a sinner, and that's why these, these two third wicked niggas can't get it, man. That's why you they know? hate us. That's why they hate us, man. Because this is a this what we're doing is an abomination unto them. Just like we look at what they're doing as wicked and abomination, they look at what we're doing as wicked and abomination. That's why we ain't really evil out to Exactly. Yeah. And that's why we can't break our back trying to make niggas that hey can't get it get, man. You see? You got it, bro. Three Jackson, one and twenty-six. You got you gonna speak on something, bro? Nah, I just wanted to quote that priest of the scripture that he held on that the part of um for evil yep. make it such a prey. You got it. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes 1 and 26. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. Mm. Keep the what? The commandments. Hey, you supposed to do what the scriptures command us to do. It ain't that was the past. <clears throat> or that was back in the day. No, you try to make your wisdom to do uh, uh, what the scriptures say, especially knowing. That's that's what's pleasing on to the Lord, man. Huh? Knowing what's commanded of you and then trying to do it. Not, not coming against it. Oh, that was in the past. Right. Nah, this this 2023. Right. Yeah, nah, it ain't things are not like that no more. No, right. man. You try to the best of your abilities, um, man, woman, children, knowing what's, what what you're supposed to be doing. But uh, you know, on this earth, you try to the best of your abilities, man. A lot of people always got a problem with that, man. Oh, we ain't in the past. We ain't in the ancient day. Y'all, y'all think it's down crazy. Right, right. We ain't in the old too. And the scripture just said, it said, if thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments. See, the one thing about it, the Lord ain't going to give you no understanding and give you no truth and give you wisdom if you ain't doing what he say. Right. The only way you're going to be able to obtain wisdom and obtain the knowledge and understanding of your high boss and your shot is if you do what the Lord say. Got to be faithful in a few things. That's right, man. That's right, brother. First thing you need to do is spirit. Yeah. That's the beginning. You got it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's one and twenty-six. That's what's gonna make you keep the commandments, cause you right. know what happened if you don't. Right. Exactly. Come and say. Hey, that's why King David said, um, "Through thy precepts I get understanding." That word precept, those are your commandments. You know, through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Right. Yeah. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just way. It's 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 like, it's like that balance. Right. That's the proper balance. You know, you got it, kind of. Ecclesiastes 1 and 26. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto thee. Mm. That her. That her is referred to wisdom. Sophia. That Jake, hey, Jake don't want to read. Jake come up against us all the time, especially Apostle the Elder, but you got the same book, bro. Why you won't go check it out for yourself, you know? They don't say that enough. They don't say a man can have multiple women or what. It, it don't say only Israel shall be like. What you mean? It don't say that. It's in the scriptures. Oh, that be like like the brother said. Oh, that's the Old Testament. Right. Yeah, we ain't in the Old Testament. We in the New Testament. The New Testament say the same. That's why the scriptures. That's why the scriptures say. Uh, and when place of repentance was opened unto them, they I understood, understood not, but despised. See, Jake despising something that they don't even understand. That they ain't even take the time out to get. Yeah, they, they they ain't even opened up this book. A lot of Jake got so much to say about this book. And they never even open it to look it up on it for their own self. They like living like an heathen. That's right. Hey, and then you got to think about it. You really think about it. A lot of law just telling you how you're supposed to live so that you won't die. That's it. Don't eat this because it's poison. I created think? this for cleaning the earth. Now you got it. Right? Uh, just, just what you're saying. What do these niggas know the, uh, the Bible um, antonym of basic, basic instructions yeah, 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 before yeah, leaving yeah, the earth? Yeah, they, right. Niggas love to say that. So right. it's basic instructions before leaving the earth. earth. Yeah. You should... It's a way of life. Right. The Lord is telling you, don't do this. This one you can sleep, marry. This one you can't marry. You, you can't marry your sister. You can't sleep with your uh, father's wife. 
You can't see the nakedness of it. Like, this like basic stuff. Yeah, Why? Yeah. And the Lord has a reason for that. And then when you come into the understanding, when you come into the truth, and you get to look at it, and the Lord open you up, you realize like, damn, why? That's right not to do that. Like you can see the, benef the beneficial in right. that, and because what what that can lead to. Why you have a land set? Yeah. So that shit can grow. Mm -hmm. Let the earth rest. Yeah. Let it replenish so the Lord can bless the earth, and He can bless your store back, so you can have more food. Like it's, it really common sense how the Lord it creates life. But say my so way, you, you it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. I was you know, just know. just quoting that my my ways ain't reached. Right. Ecclesiastes one and twenty seven. For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, and faith and meekness are his delight. Hmm. Twenty eight. Distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor. And come not unto him with a double heart. See, you can't be double hearted serving the Lord, man. You can't. The scripture say a double minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. And the other part, he said, don't distrust the Lord when you're poor. That's really, really kick you in to have faith when your money low, when you ain't got it. And don't, don't, don't get faint hearted. Don't change up because it hey, don't feel good to the flesh. The scripture said, have you not chose the poor of this world? Reach your faith. So that's when and you really got to trust in the Lord because a lot of people, they curse you. Look at people on the street. They live in the matter way because they suffer. They, they lost faith. They lost patience. And the scripture says, they take it cheerfully without change to a lower station. That's it. Please ask us 1 and 29. Be not a hypocrite in the sight of men and take good heed what thou speakest. Mm -hmm. Scripture say, be not a hypocrite in the sight of men. But we know first and foremost, we ain't trying to be a hypocrite to the Lord. But even when we out here dinner, we can't be a hypocrite amongst in the sight two -thirds. of men. Among two thirds, man, amongst each other, man. Because they watching us. You see? Whether they want to take heed to this word or take, man, these people, they, they, these people see the prophets out here, man. They gonna oil your you know? ass up if you ain't doing what you been talking about. Yeah. They can't hey, wait. Not, we know it. They can't wait. You know, and we ain't not here to try to like the brother said. It ain't about pleasing men, but the scriptures just say that because you don't want to be a hypocrite unto yourself. Right, right. the scriptures say, hey, um, um, you are the light of the world. Yeah. Hey, let your light shine. We're supposed to shine. Exactly. We're supposed to show Jake not by what you saying, but, but how you live. Right. Yeah. But Jake only believe actions, not about believe words. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. Actually, actually, a lot of the words. Right. And that's what and that's what converts people because they see like nah he ain't just telling me that like right. I can yeah. actually see him that, doing. And that's why people believed on you how shy because his actions said believe me for my very work. Yeah. Exactly. His works yeah. match his actions. Letting you know faith without works is dead being alone. Yes. You gotta go. Please ask the one of thirty. Exalt not, exalt not thyself, lest thou fall. Mm bring dishonor upon thy soul and so Yahweh discover thy secret and cast thee down into the midst of the congregation mm -hmm. because thou camest not in truth to, to the fear of the Lord but thy heart is full of deceit and we trying to avoid that sincere brothers hey we trying to avoid that man the Lord said don't exalt yourself you know unless you fall unless the Lord can and we seeing that dude getting casted out in the midst of the congregation right now, man. That ain't right. That's full of deceit. That's full of wickedness, man. You know? The Lord say that ain't walking a, 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 in truth and serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Having your own hidden agenda. You know? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, like the brother just said earlier, bro. You ain't getting away. It ain't, the, you, the Lord is seeing it, man. And he's going to discover those secrets, man. So we got to be walking on point. We can't be a hypocrite, man. We can't be saying one thing and doing another. What's that scripture say? Um, thou preaches adultery, does thou commit adultery? Mm -hmm. Thou preaches, thou shalt steal, does thou steal? Right. They're like them wicked scribes and Pharisees. They was trying to um, put people to death and uh, accuse people of doing things and they was doing the very same acts. It's probably yeah. even greater. <laughs> That's why Yahweh Shah said, um, we was speaking about that. Um, let your righteousness be past the, 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 the righteous of the scribes and Pharisees. Yeah. Right. You got it up. How much do you have? Showing you, you got to keep the law. To the best of your ability. Oh, okay. Matthew 2, 2 and 12. The letters written in red. Got the God was shot to these words. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. Mm. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. That's self-done. Man, if you exalt yourself, 
Hey, the Lord ain't going to be with you, man. When you humble yourself, the Lord will be with you. He ain't going to be with you if you're starting to exalt yourself before men and trying to claim glory. You know, but if you humble yourself, hey, he's going to be with you, man. But if you do, he's going to yourself, like you said, he's going to make you a base. He's going to make you very low. He's going to bring you down very low, you know. So it's best to be humble and meek. And the brother, the brother brought that piece up out earlier. The Lord said he resisted the proud. You know, ain't no proud, ain't no proud individual. You know, get, getting on no chariot, man. You know, it just ain't gonna happen. Um, if a brother can't get that scripture where it's saying, uh, I believe that's also one or could be three. Let's speak about um seeking out out the Lord. No, it's Ecclesiastes 7. Brother, get that. Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 4. 7 4. Yeah, 4 and 5. All right, this is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 4. It reads, Seek not of the Lord preeminence, neither of the king the seat of honor. Sirach chapter 7 verse 4 Seek not of the Lord preeminence neither of the king the seat of honor See? So you ain't supposed to be seeking out preeminence and the brother about to get the word man. The definition the definition for preeminence the fact of surpassing all others mm. superiority We see a lot of guys doing this shit they want to pass they want to come into this thing and overnight they want to be the top man, yeah. not going through nothing. That's up, man. You ain't going through nothing, but you want to be the, the, the top ranking man. So when you do go through some shit, distinction, prominence, predominance, eminence, importance, fame. Yeah, you know that's what, what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. There's one that, in there that say that say fame, man. So you want to be you want to be famous for this. You want to be known. You want to be seen. You see? So you ain't supposed to be seeking out the Lord for that, man. And for that type of stature, man. We supposed to be seeking your heart by shine truth and truth and sincerity. That Lord willing, we be saved, man. Because that's what we ultimately came into this truth for. And you can come into the truth and forget that, man. You know? The whole that the whole mission and the reason why we even came into this truth by the Lord even enlightened us to have his wisdom was that we may obtain salvation. Feed my lambs and feed, feed my, my sheep, sheep, man. You know? It's not it's not for our own glory, man. Because we ain't we it's nothing that we're gonna be able to do. We ain't even gonna be able to save ourselves to deliver ourselves if you how about shimmy out shine with us, man. What did John say, man? I must decrease and he must increase. increase. That's right, bro. You gotta decrease, you gotta base yourself so your house track can be lifted up. And which and just like this on that bone, that brass serpent in the wheels, and when it was lifted up and men looked into it, they were healed. When we lift up Yahweh Shah, he's gonna draw all men into himself. Yahweh Shah, the one who drawn the elect. His spirit is in his servant that's leading people to the marriage, and they're hearing Yahweh Shah voice and they follow him. That's it, bro. It's about Yahweh Shah. It ain't about us. Who, who are we? The Lord can raise up stars, man. Like we we could have been out here in our father. Can't forget that. I also can't forget the scripture to say our righteousness is as a filthy rag. That's right, bro. How yeah. the wise That's man right. falls seven times and get back up. He's constantly falling. Constantly mm -hmm. going off. You can't keep the laws perfect. Yep. It was non perfect, but y'all was shot. That should keep you humble in yourself. Yep. We're constantly <clears throat> going off in the eyes of the Lord. Constantly. And the Lord can put up the devil. Right, at any moment, you know, but the Lord having mercy on us, man, so we got to be humble. Right. Got, we can't get proud, man. What does the scripture say? He only going to be on folks of those who are going to be right with the country. Yeah. 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 I don't know that. Um, this good brother got one oh, more verse on that. Yeah. And then, and then my yeah. wife had one. I brought that, brother. Yeah. 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 7 and 5, justify not thyself before the Lord, mm. and boast not of thy wisdom before the king. Right, man. Justify not thyself, man. And don't boast in our wisdom. Because even when the Lord, hey, the only reason we able to even receive these these, 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 these precepts, these, 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 these wise words, you know, it's through the spirit of Yahweh Shah. He said, it is the gift that is given unto you. 
You know? Yeah. The Lord gave us this and he can easily take it away so we ain't the boasting. Right. You know? But the main thing, what I want to read now, is not justifying yourself, man. Suffer wrongfully. Suffer wrongfully, man. And you seeing dudes doing that, man. You know? You want to go down here and uh, just Chicago build this unity camp to try to justify yourself before the face of men. That shit off as hell in the spirit, man. A being is not your source. That's right, man. It's going to be a place up to where. You see? Well, if the scriptures say a being is the Lord, I share with you. That's all right. Because even when that situation happened, when, when they, when they, when they, um, Toss the water, whatever, man. You weren't supposed to uh, uh, um, jump the bitch and, and become brawlers and strikers, man. But they was you know? antagonizing those men. At the same time, too. And we we even got got thrown great through right. all type of shit at us, bro. Did, did we did we take up arms and, right. and throw water bottles back? Right. Nah, bro. We just took the load. A soft hey. answer was made of rare. Hey, 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 it was an example with the brother with the elder in Dallas, man. Y'all should run. Said a, a woman walked up on the couch and, and smacked him, man. He said it was so much in his spirit that wanted to chase the chase the woman down the block. Oh, the camera took out. Yeah, took yeah, yeah. yeah. out. And came from. No, oh, man. <laughs> we ain't getting caught. Them brothers was looking for Yeah. He, that, that brother didn't justify himself, and you know what? I'm gonna knock, knock the bitch out. You see? Because y'all about y'all shot gonna deal with that demon. But see, in, a, uh, in, in men's eyes that lack wisdom, they'll think, oh, you scary. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, 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 oh, you a, you a chump. You look at your how shot like this. Yeah, man. This ain't about being being the toughest guy, man. You see? That's why the Lord gave us wisdom. Why? Because this wisdom keeps us alive, man. Right. The, and the Lord say, hey, hey, all days that all those that keep the commandment shall live, but such as leave it shall die. Soon as you start not applying wisdom and understanding, man, your ass gonna get eventually put to death, man. That's the only thing you're gonna get. There is a way that seeming right unto a man, he come this all the time. But the end thereof are the ways, are the ways of death, man. Y'all must die. It's beautiful to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, bro. Because, hey, like the brother said, it say, keep my commandments and live. And the law has the apple in our eye, man. We keep these commandments, bro, and add life on to us. Jake, Jake just don't believe, bro. Because the thing is, hey, we, we enjoy preaching the word, so why would you want to get in the altercation and get in something that can cost you from teaching and preaching the word? You live. Don't edify. You live to prophesy another day. <laughs> hey, come on, <laughs> man. That's our whole mission of being out here. We ain't out here to be brought. We out here to teach. To, 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 so, to we, the sheep. so we get in the altercation. Now we locked up for 30 days. That's, that's the sheep. Right. God damn. We're supposed to be a good shepherd. Man. That's right, right man. We we wore it off the enemy with the sword of the spirit. Not not that get it get. Proverbs 8, 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit for a fall. And I wear a haughty man for arrogant, high minded. High minded, yeah. High minded and superior also. And that's what be wrong with a lot of a lot of dudes, man, having a damn ego. High minded, man. You can't get over your damn self. See? You're in a position where I'm at you. That's right, bro. Okay, this is um, Luke 14. And I'm going to start at verse 7. And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden when he had marked how they chose out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room. Lest a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him, and he that bade thee, he come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the Lord's room. But when thou bidden, go and sit down in the Lord's room, that when he that bade thee come, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher, then shall thou have worship in the presence of them that sat at meat with thee. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Mm. Yeah. Just to back up there, brother. Uh, this is Luke chapter 16, verse 15. I'm going to read in the NLT. It says, Then he said to them, You like to appear righteous in public, but the most I know your heart. What this world honors is detestable in the sight of the Most High. Hey, that's exactly what it is. It's detestable, man. You, you know, um, you want to be highly esteemed. Like the brother was going into earlier, 
Lord it. Yeah, Lord it. Eloquent speaker, precepty. You know, that, that's the wrong attribute instead of being meek, man. Being meek instead of. You, you, hey, the scriptures say the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. That's right. You got it backwards. You want your honor now and don't want to be humiliated. Before you how was shy, um, ascended up into the heavens, he was humiliated, man. You know? He was humiliated. You know, the worst death and, and, and things he went through ever. Ever, man. Nobody can't compare to that. Guess what? Our trial is coming. And we got to get humiliated. You know, whatever a brother Lot may be. You know, we got to get humiliated, man. We don't want to be getting getting um fame and status and high esteem from from the world when this shit don't pass away man none of that edify is our confusion and that ain't what we're in the truth for right because when the time comes for you to be humiliated you're gonna buck up against the humiliation yep. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be proud of it. most of it. Yep. that was it brother yeah it's just a quick precept i didn't think about that he said, he that'll be exalted shall be a face. Lord gonna humble your ass, man. What that is in Isaiah 2 or 1 about the lofty. Mm -hmm. The yeah. lofty looks of man. Yeah, the lofty looks gonna be humble. Right. See, Jake really think the Lord ain't watching. You know, you think the Lord don't see you, man. The Lord see you, you know your heart. He right. created you, right. you dumb MF. Right. He, the kind of the father. He knows you. Hey, can a brother get Zephaniah 2? Starting at verse one, we uh, brother can um, hold the, the definition for the word. Um, Zephaniah two, starting one. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. Mm -hmm. Who is that nation not desired, man? Israel, the Israelites. You got it, bro. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff. Before the fierce anger of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah come upon you, before the day of the Lord, the Lord's anger come upon you. And that's what we and what we got. That's what we and what we gather. And the gathering in this truth, man. You know the hundred percent doctrine. You know, not no a, a mixed multitude of doctrine. And just because we Israel, we gonna now come. Nah, man, we coming together in one mind, one doctrine, one truth, man. One faith, one baptism. One faith, one baptism, man. See, that's what we coming together on, man. Why? So that we, so that, that, that the scriptures say when Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's anger comes, keep reading. This is uh, Zephaniah 2 and 3. Seek ye the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, all ye meek of the earth, mm. which have brought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, mm. and may be he shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So we're supposed to be seeking righteousness, seeking meekness. Mm -hmm. Humbleness, you know, brother, you got that word. Yeah, kind of. I got that word meekness in the Adam online. It says the virtue of humility. Ooh. Before honor is humility. That's Don't why. Be. That's what made me go to that. You know, <laughs> the brother said it. Before virtue honor is humility. Yeah. So you should. Yeah. So my thing is, you don't want to esteem yourself. You should want to be. And 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 and, 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 and it's a such thing as fake and humble, man. Right. You know, because just because you quiet or right. just because you you know. You, you, you can play humble, right. you know, this, but it's going to be his, yeah, it's going to be his say that There's a wicked man that hangs his head. Hang his head. But inwardly, but he's, full of, he's full of deceit, man. You see? And you can wear, uh, the scripture said they should no longer wear rough garments to deceive. Mm-hmm. That's right, man. So at the end of the day, man, we, we got to be, like the brothers say all the time, it's about being sincere, man. Being sincere in your humbleness, man. Really taking the load. The, the, Yahweh Shah said, learn of me for I am lowly and meek. The Lord, the Lord took humility, man. The Lord was humiliated, stripped naked in front of a midst of people. Right. He, beat laid down, his, he, he laid his life down. That's right, man. And he, and like the brother been saying, all oh, camp, he could have fucking <laughs> jumped off that cross and kicked them Edomites' ass, kicked Jake ass. He said, I could. He said, when when Peter smoked that in, he told him, man, if it was up to me, I could call a legion of angels man he said, this is my kingdom deal with my, deal with my service fight. fight man letting you know that this world is not in the in in, in the vibration of your house the lord man right. but satan you see? Right. but hey man with that um we pray and hope that this was an edifying street preaching if brothers ain't got nothing else to say
we pray and hope that this was an edifying street preaching. We're going to close out giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, teaching 100% truth. Peace, love, blessings, and salutations to the sincere Akim and Akwaf that are listening in on this truth, pushing in this truth, trying to make your call of election sure. Shalom to the brothers that's pushing this truth throughout all the four winds of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. May the call of election be upon our home. To the next time, we want to say, Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And Shalom. keep the faith. Shalom. 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 To the elect. To the elect.